Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Lainey and welcome if you're new. I'm crafting again for Valentine's Day. We have some vinyl crafts, paper, and a little iron on to do today. So we're just going to go ahead and dive right in. I always like to get the introduction out of the way so we can just get straight to the point. I am using mainly tech wrap today. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I am on like a tech wrap fiend, I guess you would say. I'm really liking the mat, but of course I will link all the materials that I can find down below. These, the, the two different packs of vinyl that I've been using lately can easily be found on Amazon still. So with that being said, I found all these designs in Cricut Design Space. I am a Cricut Access member. Where's my ring weeder? Okay, getting my ring weeder. I, it was not in the correct spot. I thought I lost it there for a second. Just helps me weed out these pieces so I have somewhere to put them that's closer than, you know, putting it on this excess piece here or on my fingers. Typically, I can't get these little boogers off my fingers. They're so sticky. So, this says, all you need is love and naps. And I was, you know, singing the song by the Beatles. And then I came across this one with the naps. And I was like, this is 100% me. <laughs> this is probably going to go in my craft room. It made me laugh, honestly. It's right up, right up my alley. Just getting these little pieces left. And I am posting Valentine's a bit early, and that is just because I want to get the content out to inspire you guys so y'all kind of know what direction you're going in before you head out to the store and start buying blanks if you're choosing to do that this year. So the design is done. It also came with this at the top. And I cut it separately, or I cut it all together, and then I cut this off because I was thinking about incorporating these wooden hearts from the Dollar Tree. So what my plan is to lay this down and play with the wooden hearts. If I like it, great. If I don't, then, you know, I can incorporate this back into the design. So we will see. I need to prep my blanks real quick. And I'm using the white one today, but I have the black one out again Maybe I'm going to play with these wooden hearts a little more. So we'll, we'll just play it by ear and see how things look. I'm going to grab a paper towel and wipe down the surface. And it is quite dusty. I've had this in my craft cart that's sitting beside my desk as I was getting blanks together for this video. So it, it needs a good cleaning. And this is how it's going to be placed. You know, let's just go ahead and open the hearts and see how that looks. So it's got the reg, you know, the natural wood, the pink and the red, and it seems to have come in, I think it just came in two different sizes and three different colors is what it looks like. And it's a 24 piece for $1.25. It's not too bad. Okay. So, since this is going to be in my craft room, we can go with any color. Well, if it was in the living room, my husband would be okay with red. But he is not a pink guy. Have to compromise there. So, I think I like that. The only thing that I didn't really notice when I picked these up is that all the hearts are curved. It's okay, but I wish it was just a, you know, a regular heart. Okay, we're definitely going to incorporate the wood element just to change the variation up on the on the sign here on the blank. I'm bringing in this huge roll of transfer tape. I purchased this right after I ordered the Tech Wrap variety pack because it came with a transfer sheet that looked just like this and it is very sticky. So just bear that in mind. I, but I also, I, I will be honest, I do have multiple brands of transfer tape that I kind of rotate with depending on what I'm working with. So 
I'm going to come in with this extra strong grip because we're just working with this kind of um, dry erase board material. It'll work fine. All right, so let's get the heart again. We didn't test out the larger heart, did we? Way too big. Come on. All right, so I'm getting the smaller size of the two hearts and placing that down for a spacer. I'm gonna bring in my scape, uh, scraper tool and burnish. I'm gonna try to be on myself. <laughs> Varnish this down, not varnish or varnish, whatever I've been saying. I've, <laughs> I say, I say multiple things, but if you hear me saying it wrong, just know, you know what I mean, but I am going to be, <laughs> I'm going to try to be more attentive of what's coming out of my mouth. Okay. And that is definitely not ready. So let's scrape this down on both sides really, really good. So we can get it stuck to that transfer tape. All right, lining this up the best that I can as usual, making sure that it is straight as well. Just scrape this down and get this permanent. Maybe this isn't the same. No, it is. This is quite sticky. Okay. I'm going to put it back on the backer. And let's go ahead and turn on the hot glue gun here and let that warm up. So I'm just so I can just glue the heart down. Like so. My words are not coming out right today, guys. I apologize. Do my best here. Well, while the glue gun is heating up. Let me move these parts out of the way and I've got to have something cut out. So let me go ahead and get this cut out real quick. So I'm cutting out 110 pound cardstock and this is for a paper project obviously, but it is because I want to layer, layer some paper and I'll bring it in next so you can see what I'm doing, but I wanted to get three layers of this cut out and I've just been doing one one text at a time because I didn't quite know what direction I was going in and while the Cricut machine is working I will say that I was very hesitant about getting this machine I have the Cricut Maker 3 and I also have a silhouette cameo and I didn't feel that it was necessary to have this machine and I'm so glad that I took the plunge and bought it. It is so much more manageable space-wise and weight-wise because I really hated moving the Cricut Maker 3 around because I don't keep them on my desk. Because, you know, it can get just very cluttered real quick. And I'm just really loving loving this machine. I'm really glad that I got it. I do not want to bring that maker to my desk anymore. I know that I'll have to for a lot of projects, but as of right now, all the crafts that we're doing today are all sized for this cutie right here. So I've got this text cut out in 110 pound cardstock. It obviously says love. I'm just going to set it to the side for now and let's see if this is warm enough. I think it is. Barely. Okay. Okay, craft number one. All you need is love and naps. We've got the little wood raised element here just to add some variation to the blank and I really liked it and this is for my craft space. So let's bring in the second craft because I will need to use my hot glue gun again. All right, so this blank is from Dollar Tree as was the last one and I wanted to do love in vinyl but I didn't know how it was gonna work because it has these 
split in the blank, lack for a better word. So I cut it out in paper just to test how it would be, and I actually really liked it. So I thought, why not just build it up a couple of layers with paper and glue this down and then incorporate these felt roses, which are also from the Dollar Tree. So let me get some liquid glue for our paper and then we'll use the hot glue for the felt roses. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just apply a little glue to each letter. and stack them on top of each other. Kind of trying to move quickly here so I can get everything glued down and aligned. And I'm thinking this is gonna work. If it doesn't, we'll just have to set it aside. Okay. Just adding a little glue to the last layer here. And if you haven't seen this glue before, this Barely Art glue, I love it because it has the precision tip. And it also comes with other uh, tips as well. It is really nice for crafting because of the variations that it provides. And obviously for smaller crafts like this, the precision tip is exactly what I need. Okay, so we've got our love and I think we're gonna glue it down just like that. And then I'm gonna, it came with two large ones and two small ones. And I'm just going to, well, just gonna wing it. Let's turn it that way. All right, and then just kind of playing with the leaves, really. No, I don't like that. Let's see. Okay, I think it's gonna look best like this. And just kind of fluffing them out so they're not so squished. And I think I actually want to glue this leaf down. Yeah, so when it's set up as so, it's not gonna be down on the table. It's just gonna be like that, so I like that. Okay, and should we should probably just do this glue again. I'm going to turn it over to the back side and repeat the process, just applying a little bit of glue. It does dry clear, but because it's on a black surface, you can still see the clear residue. So I don't want too much seeping out because I don't want that to bother my eye. And Place it down and let me get my weeding tool here and just kind of scrape up that excess glue while it's drying just real quick all right guys craft number two little wood blank paper and felt all wrapped into one I really like how it turned out and I'm glad that I did the test cut with paper instead of vinyl because I really like how this turned out and it's just gonna you know be propped up and yeah I really like it what do you think what do you think about the paper it's different for sure okay let me bring this in again and play with the hearts and see, I don't, if they were regular hearts, if they didn't have the swoop going on, I would like to fill this with hearts, but I'm just not sure that it's going to be 
the look that I want. And you know what? I think these should be painted white, so I could use those too. Hmm. Let's see. Let me just kind of play with these a bit and... Oh, well, it does have one regular one in there. I think that that was a mess up. Definitely was. This is the only one that is normal. Okay. And then... Was it paired, like, with this? Maybe? Let's just glue them down. And I'll look at it and... And see. You know, it's a dollar twenty-five blank. Why don't we just experiment and see what happens? You know, without experimenting, I don't think crafting would be a thing. So let's just give it a go. I like the dimension, the color variation. Let's see. We paired them together. They definitely fit. All right, so let's see. I'll just look at it for a little bit and see if I like it or not. But this three crafts down, let's move on to the fourth one. All right, so we're going to do an iron on. I found this at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to bring in my mini and turn it on medium, which is two wavy lines, and let that heat up. And this was really cheap. It was, well, I say that. It was $5.49, but it was 40% off. And I was immediately drawn to the black and white stripes. I absolutely love, love this Kind of pattern. And I cut out some text in this glitter gold, and this is scissor. Let me. It is a script, so I'm gonna move slow so I don't accidentally rip anything. And it's not very big, but I don't. It's kind of hard to tell where the cut lines are, so I'm just gonna peel it back a little bit and then try to cut off the extra so I don't waste it because I really I really like this gold. I like the color and it irons on really well as well. I actually used this in my first Christmas craft with me video. I made a towel with a nutcracker and I added a little gold details on it and this was the gold that I used. Just bending the backer or the transfer sheet so I can see the cut lines a little easier. Okay. And sometimes it's just easier to use your fingers and treat iron on as you would infusible ink sheets especially when you can't see what's going on. Okay. Okay. And it says, I love us. And it's in shape, in a shape of a heart. And in design space, this was shapes like this, but it had little hearts intermixed and I just removed those. I ungrouped it and deleted the layer of hearts because I wanted, I knew that I wanted to obviously put it inside this heart. I thought that that was something different, but before we get going on the iron on, let me come in and lint roll our surface and prep it with heat real quick. Okay, 
And now for the iron on, just going to align it within the heart. I think this is so cute. Okay, and I'm gonna go in for about um, 25 seconds, 20 to 25 seconds. It's on medium heat with firm pressure. And as I said, this iron on works really well. So I don't think it's gonna have any problem adhering. But if I need to add a little more heat, I can. So let me see, yeah. See how easy that was? Didn't even cool, nothing. It is good to go. All right, and there we go. How darling is that? Such a nice touch. And it doesn't it, look like I made it. It looks like I bought it. How cute. This is my favorite. Oh, my goodness. Can't wait to put this in the kitchen. And for, for y'all, just so you know, I always change out my dish towels seasonally. And they are just for decorative purposes. So this is going to be a decorative piece as well. It's just something that I've always done. So there we go. I love this. Okay, so let's turn off our press and move this to the side. Found this at Hobby Lobby as well for $2.99. They have them in red and pink and then obviously the white. And once more, everything is 40% off. And I have this really pretty pearl, pearlish pink vinyl from Cricut and it came in a variety pack of three that I bought last spring actually and it came with a mint this pink and then kind of like a champagne color I will do my best to try to link it down below but I do not have the names of it I don't have the roll anymore so let's get this weeded out no 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 picking up the letters okay let's see let me come from let me come from the other end and see if that's gonna be a bit easier for me to manage and it seems to be okay perfect and let's put this ring waiter on again and work out these little centers and last one okay and let me bring in that transfer tape that we used on our first craft cut it down once more And let's get this burnished down both sides per usual it just ensures that the vinyl is really going to get stuck down to that transfer tape I didn't prep my surface but this is painted let me see it does have a little alcohol on here but it's not saturated so I'm just gonna I just gently wiped it off because that paint would probably come up with that alcohol. And I'm just gonna center this and make sure it's straight. Okay. And scrape, scrape, scrape. And there you have the other one. How beautiful is that color? Is it, can you pick that up? I'm not sure if the camera is picking that color up, but I absolutely love the little pearl iridescent sheen that it has. I really like it. Super inexpensive blank, but just really cute. It's, it's a... I feel like this is a very soft piece of decor. It's not it's like screaming at you Valentine's Day because of the 
the lighter shades that I'm using. So, okay, so we have one more craft. Let me get it real quick. Bringing in my cup cradle and a mug from Dollar Tree. Let's clean the surface and then we'll start with the weeding process. You know what? I actually think, what side am I going to put it on? I think we'll do it on this side. Okay, matte tech wrap, and it is the same color as my nails. So I have three different colors of pink, and I just realized that. And this shade, I think, is my favorite. And I'm, unfortunately, I do not know the color, but I don't know, maybe when I look on my Amazon orders, it'll say the color because it doesn't say it on the roll itself. Okay, and this is Ray Dunn inspired. I really like, really like the font style that she uses, which is actually her handwriting. Um, I really like it. So this, I'll have to link this font down below, but it was definitely downloaded from defont.com. I was going between this font here, which I can't recall the name, and the, but the other one that I was going, you know, kind of contemplating was, it's called Cookies and Cheese, which sounds disgusting to me, but I really like the font. Um, but I went with this one instead. All right, so let me get a new piece of transfer tape that's the appropriate size for this. Let me just cut the remainder of this off so we have a clean edge. Okay. And I'll trim it down. And trimming it down just a hair more. Alrighty. Man, I have got a little mess going on. After this recording, I got to prep for my next video. I need to make some Valentine's Day cards with the machine and just, you know, regular handmade Valentine's Day cards, like more paper crafts. Okay. Scrape the back down just a hair. Okay, so this transfer tape is, I would say that it's more of a strong grip if you're curious. But you've seen me work with it and things are sticking down, so I will link it down below. I thought it was the same as what came with my tech wrap because there wasn't a brand on it. But it seems that that was actually much more sticky than this roll. So I think this roll is going to work out just fine. Okay. And who doesn't love a little love in a mug? All you need is love and naps and a little coffee and you're good to go in my house. All right, the last craft, Love in a Mug, and like I said, I will link the font information down below, and I will keep this out of water for the next 24 hours to allow this vinyl to cure so it can really get stuck down, but hand wash it, obviously, and don't put it in the microwave, but it should last quite a bit without putting it in the dishwasher. So there we go. Let me do a craft cleanup and bring in the crafts so we can go over them one more time. All right, guys, this is it. Six crafts. We've got some Hobby Lobby and some Dollar Tree blanks. We did a little iron on and paper and, of course, vinyl. This is definitely my favorite one. Let me know your favorite down below if you've made it this far. And if you have, thank you so much. It means the world to me that you take the time to listen to my voice and watch me, me craft. 
So I really appreciate it. And I hope you liked today's video. I hope you were inspired. If you were, please consider giving this a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.